So what the hell? That was the first thing I said when I first saw this email on my phone. I was like, what the hell? Usually when I get emails like this from YouTube, sometimes it's from copyrights. Because, you know, when I started YouTube, I used to use other people's songs on my video. So, because um, I like them, but didn't know that, uh, you know, growing my channel or proceeding forward, all these videos or all this content that I already created by people would, you know, make big problems on my channel. So, yeah, anyways, my name is Malik Sel. I'm a bit emotional and uh, I really didn't want to do this video, but hey, here we are. We still need to do it for the love of it, you know what I mean. So my name is Malik Sterling, and if this is your first time seeing me, kindly make sure to subscribe. And if you've, it's been, it's been a long time since you saw me also, and you know, probably you might, you have already unsubscribed from my channel, kindly subscribe back. Welcome back to our YouTube channel again. So um, as the title reads, I'm quitting YouTube. Um, it saddens my heart, but uh, it's not a final decision that I've taken so far. And um, this is not to any, you know, people think that, you know, there are no contents to create <laughs> the, the hell. For, um, what is even the meaning of content? Content is just making something. You can create something. You find people on TikTok, yes, unboxing things, all these are content. So how the hell would you tell me I'm, I'm out of content? It doesn't make sense, does it? So on the 15th of July, I woke up to this email. Uh, let me read it. Is it even necessary but yeah so yeah this is the email that i had from youtube it says your channel is no longer eligible to monetize learn how to reapply learn how to reapply youtube are you trying to insult my intelligence or what why do you need to tell me to learn how to you know reapply because uh, my channel is no more eligible um, for monetization so this came as a surprise to me as you know a lot of my friends as well and um due to this same reason i've not been able to create content like consistently as i used to do before because you know basically i should like four videos or max like max my max is like four videos in a week but you know due to work and some other stuff i had to dumb it down to you know three videos per week or sometimes even two videos per week depending on my timing and stuff like that because come on we are in qatar and we still need to work it's not like i'm doing youtube full time so um, where should i even begin this from so yeah, um, when I had this this email, I was I was very confused. I contacted most of uh, big people in YouTube, people who are already doing YouTube. I remember I sent Kojo Sheldon um, an email. I, think I, I took a screenshot of this same email. I sent it to him. I spoke with Osikeni, spoke with Delali, spoke with a lot of people, and um, almost all of them told me, "Yo, just just chill," because they've been through this before. For me, I'm new. I'm still I'm still like a baby. You know, this is my second year in YouTube, so. Um, all of them told me to just give it some time because, you know, they demonetized me and they gave me a period of waiting time to, you know, wait. And then after that, I can reapply. But uh, after that, was it 30? It was 90 days. That's three months. Three months of being demonetized. Now, I know a lot of you, when you open, I mean, when you go to YouTube, you search for a particular video and, you know, a lot of video pops up. The least thing you are expecting is for an advert or for an ad to play before the video starts. Now, for us as content creators, this is what makes us, this is what brings us the money. You know what I mean? This is what, you know, brings that $1, $1, $1 thing into our account. So um, you wake up, you play your videos and no ads are being played on your videos. Your friends are concerned like, yo, what happened to your video? Like you have friends who literally will raise your attention. Like what's happening to your channel? Cause uh, there are no ads on your channel. I'm like, yo, <laughs> How did you how did you notice because now people are getting used to ad, ads being played on a particular video before the video even begins like you have stoppable ads non-stoppable ads and all of that so with me uh, i didn't have any ads since 15th of july my god july i guess september october it's been three months since i got demonetized so now first of all when i got demonetized i had a chance to reapply which uh, i was in a haste and i was I was also panicking because I was like, what the hell? So I didn't even make a lot of research um, before reapplying. So that is one of the biggest mistakes that I made. So I just went ahead. I made the video as per the instructions they, they, they gave me. So I just went according to what they told me. I just did it. And then, boom, I just reapplied. And they told me, you know what? We are not going to accept you now. You need to wait for another, um, 
90 days so you can reapply then i went on youtube to watch videos how to reapply for monetization and i saw the big mistakes that i made over there now the their main um reason for demonetizing my channel was that i had reused content now reused content i thought maybe i had used someone's content like people create content and you know you go to instagram you go to facebook you just download them and you come to youtube and you upload them now i know a lot of people are doing this and youtube is not you know taking any legal actions or doing anything to your channel i mean if your channel is already monetized youtube is not doing anything to you because your channel is still small now you can testify that in in a period of you know a month to two my channel grew up from just having two thousand to ten thousand so you know things like this really raises the eyebrow of you know the youtube people like what's going on so like it causes attention you know what i mean so if your channel is that big of course youtube will do something about it like if you start you know posting reused content so now re this reused content let me break it down so me, for me i thought it was a video that someone has you know uploaded on instagram and i also downloaded it but that is not the case for me as uh, if you've been following my channel you know that i was in thailand so i came back and i had people over there who were, who were sending me content and i was re uh, and i was uploading them now I wouldn't say I was re-uploading them. Now I would say I was re-uploading them because when they sent it to me, probably they also posted it on Instagram and they also posted on TikTok because they would just take videos for me and what to do with the video next. They also just go ahead, post it on any social media platform. So I think that is where the main issue came from. And um, I didn't know, I didn't know. So I deleted most of my videos. I had close to 400 videos. Now I'm left with 311. <laughs> I've deleted over 20 videos from my channel because when I realized, oh, okay, all of this I reused content. Reused content as in most of the videos, like my gym workout. I go to the gym, I work out, I make videos, and I don't just post them on, you know, Instagram or TikTok. I, I of course, post them on YouTube Shorts as well. And I didn't know all this way, you know, re re YouTube would term them as reused content. YouTube is being, how should I say this? YouTube is like, uh, you're married. You don't want to make anybody can snatch your husband or your boyfriend from you. So YouTube is being... Should I say jealous? Or I don't know. Because if even I I explained to them, I told them, look, this is the situation. All these videos that you are saying, they are reused content. Trust me, I originally created them by myself. Uh, All the voiceovers on my videos, you know, most of the videos, I record them from my screen. And then I, you know, record an audio so I can fix them together or like sync them together. They said all those videos were not made by me because I'm like... How dumb can you be? But I understand YouTube because AI is taking over everything now. So most of these things are automated. So you even reapply for monetization and it's being bounced off because they are automated. You just send them and they are looking for particular criteria or particular details. If they don't get them in your submission, they don't accept you back. So now uh, it was getting out of hands and people were getting concerned. I had friends who were like you know calling me day day to day asking me why what happened to your channel i i even had this um message from facebook from a random person i wouldn't say it's a random person he's a fan probably so he said uh i don't have content anymore that is why i'm not uploading on youtube you don't even know what you say i'm not pressured i'm not i'm not, i'm not i don't feel like i'm in a competition i'm just doing my own thing it's just this life is supposed to be like that you need to win you need to lose sometimes so I understood the fact that okay i just need to i can you know the thing is monetization you know you have your budget right so you know at the end of the month okay you're getting like this 500 dollars from youtube you're getting minimum like 170 150 from youtube dollars so you know you you have your budget you add it to your budget okay so you use youtube money to pay your internet bills and stuff like that but since they demonetize me i'm like ah even though I was buying my, my own internet, all my gadgets that I have, all these microphones and stuff, I bought them when I wasn't even monetized. So like, I used my own pocket money. This should tell you how passionate I am about this whole thing. Like, you need to start off with a passion. So obviously, that is what I was doing. But uh, when YouTube won't show me shit, I was like, come on, YouTube. Uh, this thing, you're not even paying us that much. Cause... So yeah, basically, I don't want to rant much, but this is why I haven't been able to create videos like, you know, constantly like I used to do before. But you know what? Fuck monetization. We still go create videos. So yeah, that is the biggest mistake I made. But I'm still contemplating um, whether I should continue this thing or not. Because I've been, I've, been, I've been in conversation with YouTube from all, all platforms, like from emailing them to 
tweeting at them to messaging them to you know um, a whole lot of you know me means and ways to get to them but uh, now they had to review my channel manually and guess what they told me they told me that and they realized that all videos are originally created by me so i was like okay if all videos are originally created by me why don't you then accept me back into the monetization to the youtube partnership program that's the ypp so um they said okay so there's nothing they can do about it i still need to wait for 90 days so 90 days that's january 24th yeah january 2024 from july 15th until january that's like six months that's half a year I'm not going to end anything. So for those of you who come to my DM or, or who come to my comment section and you want to get answers for free, uh, you know, we need to pay the bills. So you have to be paying $10, $10 each. Anyways, that was just by the way. So my name is Malik Sterling. Thank you for being part of today's video. If you've missed me, just let me know in the comment section and uh, let's get conversative. You can follow me on all social media platforms, um, Twitter at black underscore um, Sterling, Facebook, Malik Sterling, YouTube, Malik Sterling, um, Instagram, Malik Sterling. So stay safe and I love you. Bye-bye.